He's been Yemen's official president for years. But Abdrabbu Mansour Hadi has largely stayed out of the public arena. That was until he made this announcement on Thursday. I announced the creation of a presidential council that will carry out the tasks during this transitional period. And I fully and irreversibly delegate to the presidential leadership council my full powers in accordance with the constitution. Many Yemenis were never impressed by Hadi's leadership. He's not been a popular president, so he's been really quite difficult to get out of power. But I think that a lot of things have happened recently in international politics that have really focused attention on needing to resolve the Yemen war. The international community would like something to happen in Yemen so that it can, it can consolidate its bandwidth to focus on the war in Ukraine. And also the humanitarian disasters just gets worse and worse. The presidential council that will now take over brings together most of the country's opposition groups, a united front against the Houthis, the armed group that has controlled much of northern Yemen for years. The council is headed by former minister Ashad al-Alimi, who enjoys Saudi support. The United Arab Emirates and Saudi Arabia backed the move and pledged $3 billion of financial aid to support the new leadership. The fact that the both, both the Saudis and the Iranians welcomed the truce simultaneously is a rare feat uh, when it comes to the Yemen conflict. And the fact that, uh, you know, both uh, or all the players, all the stakeholders who are happy with this reconfiguration of the government is very important. It's not clear, however, if the Houthis will be ready to make concessions or share power with this new version of Yemen's UN-recognized government. Commenting via Twitter, a Houthi spokesman dismissed Hadi's decision as a joke, saying that the future of Yemen can be decided only from within Yemen. The two sides have agreed on a two-month ceasefire that took effect on Saturday. But the Houthis still refuse to attend negotiations in Riyadh, saying it's enemy territory and talks should be held in a neutral location. Mohamed Val, Al Jazeera.